briefcase, briefs, and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. The Oregon Supreme Court heard the case of Hatley v. Stafford in 1978, focusing on the admissibility of oral agreements alongside written contracts. Mike Hatley, a lessee, rented a 52-acre farm from Stafford Farm to grow wheat. The written agreement allowed Stafford Farm to buy out Hatley in order to develop a mobile home park. But when they attempted to do so, Hatley sued for trespassing, claiming an additional oral agreement limited the buyout provision to a certain time frame after the lease's execution. The case centered on the idea that if a contract is intended to be the entire agreement, evidence of prior or contemporaneous oral agreements is generally not admissible. However, if the oral agreement is not inconsistent with the written contract, and there is separate consideration, or it is a natural separate agreement, it may be considered. The trial court allowed Hatley to introduce evidence of this oral agreement, and the jury ruled in his favor. The Oregon Supreme Court determined that the oral agreement could be admitted as evidence since it did not contradict the integrated contract. As a result, Hatley could claim the fair market value of the wheat crop, which amounted to $400 per acre, rather than the set dollar seventy per acre in the written agreement. This decision affirms that the parole evidence rule does not apply when an oral agreement is not inconsistent with a written contract, allowing both parties to rely on their agreed-upon terms. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit LSD.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.